to the Yankees Road to Red Bull episode 28. Yes, episode 28 here in Valencia, the European Grand Prix 14 laps around this historic street circuit. The second of two Spanish tracks on the calendar. Qualifying down in 10th after wet Q3, qualifying second in Q1, third in Q2. Looking like a good possible qualifying in Q3 and then it's raining and we couldn't keep up with the pace. Just didn't really bother me. Was considering going on the harder tyres, but everyone else seemed to be on the softer tyres. So I thought if we're going to keep up with pace, we might as well go for that. And as we're going for the first corner there, cutting up Mark Webber a little bit, getting a little bit of contact, going up the inside now, breaking very late, hitting the apex, break, just about narrowly missing Hamilton. Good driving by Jules, but. Uh, Hamilton almost made a mistake there. Going up the inside of Grosjean, and he realises and he ducks at last minute knowing that he's going to skid off wide and hit Hamilton or Grosjean and cause an incident. And then he tries to break and Hamilton literally just hits him in the back and constantly keeps ramming him trying to get him past. Didn't really work for Lewis as he gets past him and then Jules up the inside on the next corner and he gets the manoeuvre done and dusted. But that's not where this clip's going to end as we go through into that very tight corner. I like taking that corner on perfectly. It's fantastic to drive as we go through the first long I don't want to call it straight long sec sector of the track section we'll call it like a straight it's a DRS zone during the race as we're trying to defend against Hamilton we duck onto the racing line breaking a little bit early because we've got cold tyres and then we just get a little nudge from Hamilton losing the rear end Hamilton has some damage we're then taken by the two Lotuses get past Grosjean then up trying to get past Kimi Raikkonen but sadly guys we couldn't get past the flying thing going into lap six now we're trying our absolute hardest to get a decent pit stop after last time we had nine second pit stop this time let's see where we can go going into the pits now I know from previous races here that if you get caught in traffic you can be in the pits for a long time but we get out 3.3 that's fantastic considering many cars are going to get caught in the pits by the held up traffic around this street circuit and we're actually in the pits now we're going to have to hopefully come out in a position that can lead us competitive and get a podium in this race after a possible second to third after qualifying 10th obviously our race win come from low down and then our old friend Mark Webber from previous in the race cutting the corner a little bit so he didn't make contact with Webber Webber then makes contact with us but we hold on to the position onto lap 4 14. Nico Hulkenberg in the fourth Indian that struggled in fourth and Timo Glock was in fifth. Fantastic button by Raikkonen and Bianchi in the Salva in third position as they cross the line to take 15 points away from this race. Eight for above past easy peasy lemon squeezy for Jules Bianchi in his fast car. Now guys the question for this episode is if Jules gets an offer from Lotus or Mercedes, should he take it? Or should he stay at Salva, stay loyal to the team and wait until the end of the season and maybe make Vettel his rival? But, of course, if he gets an offer at Hungary from Vett, uh, Red Bull, he's going to take it. At this point, guys, just like to say thank you guys for watching. My name is OTG. I'll see you guys very shortly for some more. Bianchi's Road to Red Bull and, of course, Formula 1 content here on my channel. Bye, guys.